see you until tomorrow, but I must tell you now. So, I'm sending you this note. After all, you keep all my notes. After all, you're a historian. You'll never believe what my sister Helen has gone and done. She's run off from Sparta with that nice young man, Paris. It's not quite right, because my brother-in-law, Menelaus, treated Paris as a royal guest. It seems that when he left, she fled with young Paris. Disgusting, I called. You'd never catch me chatting up with a guest. Of course, I've got three kids to worry about. I have to set them a good example. Anyway, they believe a soft a place called Troy. Still, it's better than Sparta. Nasty, brutal place than Sparta. I only say some nerves in love. There'll be trouble. There'll be trouble. Mark these words. She's a sly one that hell. My husband Agamemnon came in came storming in tonight. Have you heard what Ella's gone and done? I've heard. Can see I blame her though. Nice young chap at Paris. I knew that would have set you. Turn reading on blood on a sacrificial altar. I will not have him saying anything against my sister Helen. She had always been flat. To the least child, mine had been in it herself. But she was his sister, and she wouldn't have anyone say a word against her. Nice young chap! He was a guest! A guest! He betrayed Menelaus' trust, nicked his wife while he was out hunting. Shh! No need to shout! You look safe again, Thank God the other two arrests in the letter were not there at the moment. Good for them, because they didn't like their mother or her family much. What's that song about, Mommy? Your, your aunt is Helen gone off to Troy with a nice Prince Paris. Oh, is that all? And she went back to her suite. Lovely girl, Lady Jenny. Neither Lisa was the other two, or as in Lecter were as good. Funny couple, those two. There'll be trouble. Big trouble. We'll get a thousand ships and sail after her. Bring her back. That will take months. A Greek's gotta do what a Greek's gotta do. Now, let me get a bit of salad. Then I'll be going to inspect the army. Organize the army? Don't tell me you're going as well. Going? Going? I'm leading the whole expedition. After all, I am an Elias' brother. Odysseus and Achilles will be there, as well under my inspection. Our fleet has assembled in Elias. That was like a man all over. Getting into somebody else's fight. Just an excuse to go off and have a battle. Let you stuck in the king for months and end. It would serve him right if she found herself a toy boy. That would teach him. In fact, there was an Aegisthus, and King Tomlista had her eye on him for a while now. She knew he had problems. A thousand ships waiting to sail to Troy, and they couldn't even get out of the harbor of Elis. The wind kept blowing them back, week after week. Of course, I knew that they went to the Oracle to ask for advice. But I never found out what the Oracle told him. Very quiet he was when he came back. Well, what's to do? Uh, the gods require a sacrifice. Then they'll turn the wind around. That's all right then. What is it? A sheep? A deer? He muttered something and started to leave the room. What was that? I'm not going deaf. I swear he didn't want me to hear. A maiden. They want a maiden. Uh, Agamemnon, darling. You're not going to kill a little girl just to get that useless sister of mine, Helen, back, are you? A Greek's gotta do? Yeah, what a Greek's gotta do, I know. I think it's a wicked shame. I just feel sorry for the lass's mother. That's all. I shall she was like and slipped out. She was upset. She was upset with the thought of the brute slaughtering a young girl just to keep some god happy. So, I sent the nurse for my little Evgenia to cheer her up. When I called the nurse, she was a marble statue. Evgenia has gone for the sacrifice. Gone to the sacrifice? She's too young to go watching things like that. She'll be upset. It will put her off her dinner. She's a fussy eater at the best of times as it is. We need to make it worse. No, she won't be.
be having any dinner anymore. If Iyenia has gone for the sacrifice, she is the sacrifice. I was speechless. A damn, crossing, filthy run of a husband had a little girl killed on an altar just so he could get her off and play soldiers. The wind stirred and he set sail before I could get my hands on him. He left me here with a funny couple or rest as an election to bring up. But I can wait. Oh, I can wait. The waiting will just make it all nicer when I finally get him. If he doesn't get killed in Troy, he gets killed when he gets back home. I can wait. It was not only to take him Troy as they expected. Their little game of soldiers wasn't as exciting as they thought. Sitting outside the walls of Troy every day, they must have been bored out of their minds. I was bored myself. At least I got a Gisthus kid to keep me company. Sensible enough not to go to Troy. It will serve a man right if he gets killed. But if he escapes Troy, he won't escape me. I've now got two reasons to get rid of him. I still haven't forgotten of Iphigenia. As for the funny couple, Orestes and Electra, they are as strange as ever. Sometimes I think they don't love me at all. That's fine, because I don't think much of them either, despite being their mother. So he came back home. Ten years later, the conquering hero came back home. He couldn't beat the Trojans in a fair fight, so he beat them with a trick horse, the Trojan horse. He hit soldiers inside the wooden horse. It was a typical sneak trick from other man. Poor Helen was brought back, and everybody was happy, except Putinistra and Trojans, of course. I pretended to welcome Mahamemnon back like a lovely wife, didn't I? What a good actress I am! But it was difficult when that girl stepped forward. Hello, dear. You're looking good as always. This is Cassandra, by the way. Cassandra? Isn't she the King of Troy's daughter? Ah, uh, yes. She is my wife to be. What do you mean? You've got a wife! You've got me! Ah, uh, yes. She will be my second wife. He said the marks in the past. That's cruel if you're a traitor for him. They say she had a gift of cross. In that case, she knew that she was going to be killed too. And, then, and yes, it was done. A day after he returned. I waited till he climbed it to his back. I walked in with a sword. I could have struck him from behind. But she wanted him to know what was going to happen, just as if Iyenia must have known ten years ago. Aegisthus faced him off. It was messy. Cassandra was in her room, waiting, as she was expecting them. Perhaps she did. She didn't cry out or try to run away. She just closed her eyes and bowed her head. It was harder killing her than killing him in a way. Still, it was soon over. Only one problem. Electra and the rest. The funny brother and sister had their eyes together plotting. Jews knows what. I didn't worry much. They could not do anything. It was against every law of good man to kill your own mother. She thought she was safe. She was wrong. It was against every law of God and man to kill your mother bad. Or as in later thought that the gods would want them to avenge their father's death. So they killed her mother and her murdering lover Jesus and awaited the judgments of the gods for their crime. Thank <laughs> you.